But it's been most important that he creates offense for his teammates today, and he's been brilliant. We saw a freshman in December in a game against UTEP that had, was totally baffled by the college game. And in six weeks, the improvement... Take a look at this now. You see how Balbe takes away the three, so he'll take it right into traffic, draw a little body... ...player. And he's done a great job on Mason Griffin this half. James, now Chapman's in, Ron, should be able to dominate the defensive glass today. Flint, a junior out of Canby, Oregon. 6'10", 239. Oh, my goodness. The screen right here. You see Avery Bradley trying to guard him as closely as possible. Wow. Nice step back move shot. A timeout. 48 to 30 are scored. Now let's join. Interesting thing about that, friend, is prior to that, he went 96 minutes over two and a half games. Bounds. Uh, <laughs> Collins is totally glib. And uh, actually, he looks quicker with the ball than without. It's thousands of hours of practice. Look at that. Second half, the Cowboys hit eight of ten from beyond the arc. That was the difference in the. Mason Griffin, <laughs> there you see. Tiny Gallion and also Wheelie Warren. They did in the first half. They stayed with them. There is that pullback move again. We're off. I'll tell you what. <laughs> if the way she plays, I bet you don't mess with his daughter and. Well, they were with an outstanding point guard and tweet number from Tony Barbie's team how deep and athletic they are but boy he's a much better player than he was back in December wouldn't you agree yep he really Mason Griffin you oh, saw man. he got worried about help defense he's just chasing him now Mason Griffin knocks down the three his first defense take a look now now Bradley's a little late off that screen but he still gets set up defensively and a great little jab step As the first player AP history, three-time, 14 points. Mason Griffin, oh my, shooting four or five from three. Take a look at this, Ron. He's either made the shot or made the pass for the shot on every one of these threes. Showing great range. He's shooting 45% on the season from behind the arc. And comparing him to Sharon Collins as a freshman is not hyperbole. He's been that good. on the offensive end to take over. He's only got one field goal. Back in this game with some stops because they have the depth to be able to wear Oklahoma down in the second half to get baskets in transition. Not that way. Right here, watch Tommy Mason Griffin. Come off the, reject the screen, come back off, and then a slip to the rim, and Fitzgerald, another freshman, hooking up for the easy. Right now, it's all between his ears. 33% left. Best offense because those bad shots he's taken have turned into be have turned into off, offensive rebound opportunities. Yeah. I don't know how you shoot the ball so much. Five point ball game. In the corner, three pointer in and out. Unlucky in a shot. Turns around and misses the short jumper. A very solid job by Ryan Wright, Ron, keeping Moses from getting to the lane. This guy is unguardable, Ron. We saw him destroy Missouri and Texas. I don't know how you keep him out of lately. Well, Fran and I have witnessed that, and the fact that you talk about working yourself into a starting lineup, it's exactly what he's done. High page behind the back with the draw. He can score both within a system and on, and on his own. Under 18 minutes to play. 53-36, Oklahoma. Unranked, the Longhorns number 10. Wow. Mason Griffin, Mason Griffin, Crocker, ball fake, gets the five and a half. And he did something similar against Texas as well, Ron. He's back on the floor, and Crocker is playing with three fouls. Nine seconds, down to eight. Mason Griffin. Gets it to Crocker. Fall away jumper. Got it. Now, uh, right now, Oklahoma is running and Texas is playing their game. Texas Tech. 
stay in front of this guy because and I mean that you know he is so quick and so and so good with the basketball his ability to change direction is phenomenal you're talking about Balbe and Bradley two really good defenders yes off to a baseline moving Avery Bradley. 16 point ball game. We got 118 left to play until intermission. I like it when we come to town to do a ball game because last time I told you that Cade had his first double double ever. And today he has 16 points at halftime. Look at that. That's a foul on Bradley. Oh, he can score. He drive me crazy, but the guy can put the ball in the basket. <laughs> Kate Davis, by the way, has 20 points. There, Mason Griffin will gather it, and it's a nine-point lead with 39 seconds left. Against Davis. Oh. Three pointers and a half is that game against Texas A&M. Their high water mark on the year when they hit eight out of ten. They got an opportunity to equal that record here. He's trying to tire him out on offense. This is a play Texas calls money. And I don't even think he cares, Rick Barnes, whether Bradley gets the ball or not. But Mason Griffin plays 36 minutes a game in conference play. And you can see. Crocker goes against Mason. Take it away, Texas. Avery Bradley, and he and partially blocked by Anderson, which turned it into an air ball. Texas on March 6th in Waco. That'll be a fun one. See that double team come so quick? 